Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you enjoyed the video, subscribe and like them please. So of course this is a match preview for Tamworth against Farsley Celtic then. Of course Farsley Celtic who are sitting 14th place in the league coming to top of the league Tamworth who are 9 points ahead of 2nd and who will be looking to try and win yet again and to try and not concede a goal. Been loads of stuff to happen in this video. We will be talking about Andy Peaks, of course, getting manager of the month of course, January. And we'll be talking about two players who we have signed, and one of them is Chris Ray. So, of course, starting off then with Andy Peaks, of course. Uh, manager of the month he deserves it all um i think of course really well done to andy peaks who have got us there um and i bet he wants it every month um but he is a really good manager he you know and we're sitting top of the league we're one beating in 2024 so here it says then a uh, North Manager of the Month for January 2024. Um, we have played six, won five, drawn one. Goal scored, we've scored a nine, conceded zero and point sixteen. Very well deserved to Andy Peets. And yeah, I think he deserves it. Um, really, you know, good manager. And we need to just now keep picking up wins under him and try and win the National League North and get to the National League. So, of course, the signings, what we have signed then. Um, one of them is, of course, um, Chris uh, Way. Then the other one is a one from um, Slough. Um, so let me just um see. So of course the first one will be uh Chris Ray, of course. So signing alert coming in and back to the club is Troika Chris Ray, who joins on a month by month loan deal until the end of this season. It's great to have you back, Chris. Full detail, including the thoughts of manager Andy Peaks. So we will see what Andy Peaks has said about the player. Um, it says we are delighted to welcome back Chris Way to the Lamb, where he spent a sufferful loan period in December, scoring twice. Um, Chris joins us on a loan from National League outfit Hartley Pool United on a month by month loan deal until the end of the season their experience troika listers Rushton and diamonds um newport pagnell um bambury united and south end united amongst his clubs and signed for hartley pool united at the start of the season manager andy peets who has man managed chris um at Rushton said on Friday morning, Chris has come back, uh, has come back, and he trained with us on Thursday evening, which is a massive plus for us. He had a really good month for us, but it hasn't um, worked out for him going back to Harleyball, and he was depressed to, to desperate to come back to us having enjoyed it last time. Chris knows the lads and fits him well and I think people saw a glimpse of what he can do. He will add a strength to the group at the right time. It's important that we added to the squad because we can't rest on our lawyers when we are going well. I am not one to sign players for the sake of it but someone it is important to add strength, especially as we have lost players due to leaving suspensions and injuries. Of course, um, Dan Creaney will, of course, um, have a two-match ban as he got 
too much yellow cards of course he got one against Alfredton so I reckon that's why you bought Chris Ray in and it's a really good signing for us um I think you know we needed that and we wanted him back um but it says under here in the meantime Lyndon uh, Mikul remains on joint reckless teams with Ilsecon Town and may continue to get full times with them to build up to his match and fitness so look like he is leaving um the other sign of what i can't find at the minute is really uh he's from slough town um and yeah he is um you know a panny is a really good player um you know let me just um uh, find him but yeah, he's from Slough Town. Um, let me just see this. Um, do, do, do. Um, sorry. Right, here we go. Should if I can't find him, then I'll have to tell you in the next one. But um, yeah. I think I found him. Yep, so of course we um the other signing who was before Chris Ray, but I started with Chris Ray because um I found him. But uh, his name is Mushon Jabada or something like that. I can't say his name, but yeah, we, um yeah. But it says here um we can confirm that um Muncha Sajala has joined the club following a seven days approach was made um to National League South Outfit Slough Town for his services. Mushroom was at the lamb on Thursday evening to complete the paperwork. We are delighted delighted to have their experienced midfielder on board and he will be in the squad for the game against Farsi Celtic on Saturday. Um Monkshara is a Fasalo player who can play either full back or midfielder and has enjoyed spells with St. Town where he scored against the Lambs in our first game of the 2018-19 season in the Southern Premier League Central. Uh, Hamill Abstead Town, um, St. Albans City, Kettering Town and Kings Lynn. He signed for Slough Town at the start of this season where he quickly uh, became a fan's um, of course, favourite. Manager Andy Peach was delighted to get his man. I have known him for a few years and he has played against me when he was at St. Sol St. Catherine. We always needed to bring someone in and add something to the squad with Jamie joining Warsaw, um, Munchin or Nasha. <laughs> As he is known and ticks a lot of the boxes for us, and he will give everything for the club. Uh, we have done a lot of homework on him, and he wants to come here and will fit him very well in the dressing room. He plays with his heart on the sleeve, and I am looking forward to working with him. Um, then, of course, um, I'll get to. Uh, like team news in a minute about Farsi. We realised that there has been a lot of um special about the signing during the week, but we trust that fans will approach that we will um we we have followed the correct of course. So of course we will get on to that. But the match preview then for Farsi Celtic against Tamworth then of course Farsi um of course sitting fourteenth in the league Tamworth are sitting top of the league, um, trying to win this league. Um, of course, last time out for both teams, Tamworth, of course, coming up with a nil nil over Alverton, and I think Farsi beat Bishop or someone, uh, three nil. Um, so yeah. Um, but entry news, uh, it says uh, in other news for the game against Farsi, so Dan Greeny as the uh, that starts a two games and suspension after picking up his 10th yellow card after season at Alfredton Town last weekend. 
Luke Berlin will, will continue to miss out due to his hamstring injury, but Kyvin and Matt Curley both trained on Thursday evening and should return following illness. Ben Akwai left the field in the first half last week and will need a late test, but Callum Kokomoli came through the game at Elfton with no problems in his first game in over 12 weeks, and Alec Jones continues his loan spell at Slowbridge. So, um, I won't do loan up because I don't really know, you know, um, what players are back yet, um, but my score prediction for this game and goal scorers, Tamra 3, Farsi's held to 1. I think we'll concede, con, uh, concede our first game in 2024, but I think we get a win. 3-1 win, Kyle Finn, um, Chris Way, and I'm going to go, going to go Tom Tonks. So a 3-1 win. There you go, guys. So then after the video, I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and like. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.